to your May general forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Now let's take a look at your careers and finances. Ooh, ooh. Leo, looks like you are not so happy in your current work environment. Well, it looks like your personal life is balancing your your career or your finances at this point. Alright, Leo, looks like you need to do some thinking, okay? You need to do some uh, reshuffling of your priorities, targets, and goals this month. Financially, I don't feel like you will be struggling, but it seems like you're already getting a little bit bored, you know, with your current surroundings and you're looking for a change. You know that there is a different calling for you, somewhere, somehow, but you just can't seem to find the direction or, you know, like... Uh, even the symbol, okay, or the sign as to where you should be following it. Now, there is a younger earth sign that you, you know, that's been trying to get your attention or, that, or that's been like trying to win your attention. Good if you're single, bad if you are taken because it does actually, you know, falls into the uh, temptation side. Now, you do have you know, you do feel fond of this younger person and you know that you need to draw the line because you know that uh, it's not really a good thing and it's not really going to look good in your reputation if you're going to be crossing the line with this younger person. But then you feel like, you know, there's a part of you that um, feels, uh, you know, you want to unleash that's that wild side of you. Because this earth sign seems very, you know, uh, exciting and, uh, you know, um, you can somehow feel excitement and uh, adventure and for the first time that you have felt this way again. Even though your relationship right now is uh, on the brink of um, not really breaking down, but cracking, okay? So, be very careful about a f an older fire sign that's also been, um, you know... Um, stringing you along and this person will be betraying you okay in any in any other form and you need to balance your thought you need to balance your options right before you sign anything especially if there is a contract involved this month or if there is a loan that you need to take or the, if there is like money involved that you need to give in to to somebody or that you need to entrust to someone 
think long and hard of it again. Okay, you need to balance your options. You need to um, get to know this person very well. And if your instinct is telling you something that, you know, that something is off about this person, follow your instinct. Even though that you don't have any other choice, we will always have a choice. Okay? So try to listen to your instinct first and do not ignore the signs. Okay? And also this month, your instinct will be more in tune and will be more sharp. Okay? Because there will be a lot of people that will also try to, you know, get you into their games and, uh, you know, to, for you to take advantage of you. Now, when it comes to your workplace, okay, it seems like you are already getting tired of the monotonous activities, routine, responsibilities. There's no challenge anymore. It seems like you already know all the things, even the responsibilities and tasks of your coworkers. But you can't see any direction. You can't see any growth. You don't, you don't feel like it's going anywhere. And you're already getting tired of this same old thing, you know, same old small cubicle or small office and same stacks of documents every day that you have to deal with same faces of people and you're just you know trying to get a hold of a new challenge responsibilities you've already talked to the management about the you know the the things that you want to happen because you've been like you've been like serving and you've been like working in that company for a long period of time and you feel like it's a, you're, you're ready for a change you're ready for a new challenge but then your boss feels like no you know you're already good with whatever you do nobody can replace you nobody can do whatever you do you're very versatile and you're very flexible you're you're like this you're like that you know all the good things that you'll be hearing from your boss but then your boss feels like you know you should you should just stay there because nobody can do your job like you do okay so you feel like if this company can give me any room to grow or any other challenge anymore, then it's time for you to go and move into a better direction or into a bigger space, bigger path where you can, you know, fully express and uh, explore your full potentials and spread your wings. Because in the, you know, in a place where you're in right now, you feel so isolated and you feel so alone. And yes, you can do whatever it is that you want, but then there are also some other things that you still can do and want to learn. So you're already looking for a new challenge, but you're also a little bit afraid, of course, of the finances if you'll be getting the same amount of um, compensations or if you'll be getting the same benefits that the company has been giving you. So this is a month for you to think in long and hard about your priorities and the things that you really wanted to do in your life, because I feel like you're just burned out, you know, uh, before making a big decision. Try getting a break, okay? Just a, like a two weeks off or just uh, take a, like a quick vacation some, someplace else. And when you feel like you still, you know, you still need the, the change. And if your company won't be giving you the things that you've been looking for, definitely it is the right time to move. Because within the next four weeks, you will be moving into either a different department, different team, different company, different job. Okay? Now, when it comes to your... When it comes to your um, personal, well, when it comes to your love life. Uh, you know, you need to go back to basics again. If you're trying to work out in your relationship, especially if you're with a Libra or with an air sign, um, there are a lot more things that you need to consider right before making a big decision and you're you know you're always worried this this relationship that used to serve you well now it's just serving you a lot of miseries and uh, discrepancies as well and every time that you talk every time that you try to communicate every time that you try to fix things the person the other person just sh shuts you out like, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to argue with you. So, what does that mean? It means that the other person doesn't want to fix the relationship. That they are just, you know, they just want to let the relationship crumble down. And if this is their attitude or if this is how they are acting towards you, it means that there is something else that they are taking into consideration. Okay, or something or someone else. 
and you are far more stable than this person or even if that's you know, even if they are more financially stable than you you can you know you can make a lot of changes in your life more than them because I feel like it's not just about your job that you're growing a little bit bored or it's not just about your work or your company that's just making you feel uncomfortable and happy miserable and discontented it is also where your personal life is going as you feel like you've been together for quite a long period of time but then it seems like there's no direction and every day it's just getting worse you know you can't just always use the retrograde as an excuse why the two of you aren't talking why the two of you keeps on fighting why the other person keeps on cheating on you it is already them and it's time for you to make a choice whether this person will be changing or not and if they are not willing to compromise or if they are not willing to cooperate with you through the growth of your relationship then it's time for you to make a decision okay but the two of you are really strong and the two of you have a lot of strength to withstand any obstacles okay now moving along with your sex life it seems like you need to you know, it's like the two of you are, you get too confident already in doing it. And you already got so bored. Now the other person is already looking for a new challenge, new experience, new thing. Okay. And I feel like your partner is into role playing. Okay. Now, a part of you feels like, oh my God, I'm not going to do that. Okay. But sometimes we also need to be a little bit more, you know, uh, kinky and uh, open-minded and stuff like that. And there are some things that you need to understand about the fetish of your partner. Okay. Uh, there are some things that you, there are some things that, you know, your partner wants and you feel like, no, I can't really take that. Okay. I can't do that. But sometimes... Uh, you also need to observe that right after the breakup and then when we get into a relationship, the things that we did not do in our former relationship, we do that with a with new person. Because we feel like we can make up, you know, from our mistakes by doing that or by doing that with the other person. And then that's the only time that you will know to yourself, I should have done that, you know, or I didn't know that I can do that. So sometimes it needs, uh, it needs, uh, you know, it, we need to get cut off or we need to um, go through pain uh, from someone that we are so used to being with right before we open up to new possibilities. Okay. But with your sex life right now, it seems like your partner is very active and yet you're always tired and you're always, it's like you always have an excuse. Okay, you're tired, you're stressed out, you're not in the mood, it's a time of the month and everything else. Whereas, you know, um, your partner should also know what, what, why are you doing this or why you're feeling this. Sometimes you're not really in the mood because they're bad breath or they have, they don't even, you know, take the shower yet or they smell or like this, they, they, they smell like liquor, you know. You also need to make them understand why you're refusing or rejecting them so that there won't be any gaps okay or there won't be any holes in their heart and uh you know they won't feel like why is she rejecting me or why is he rejecting me you know or it could be that they want to kiss you right after smoking and you hate it you know although don't expect the person to change because there are some people that they are not going to change especially if you will be uh, criticizing them too much okay so try to learn new ways on how to talk to them like uh, talking to a child, you know, like a reverse psychology. Now, when it comes to your uh, when it comes to your health, be careful with airborne allergies or airborne diseases. And I feel like you will be changing your, you know, the way you dress up yourself or the way you carry yourself. And I feel like you will also be enrolling in some physical activities like dancing aerobics gym or something like that and you also need to you know uh you will also be taking some stuff 
okay or some medical you know that is doctor prescribed stuff with regards to your appetite when it comes to your you know when it comes to your health and when it comes to your sex life as well now you also need to change your specs or you also need to change your reading glasses okay because it seems like this is the one that's been causing your migraine and causing your headaches your nausea your nausea and sometimes um you can't really stand staring at a computer or working on a computer or looking at your you know your phone or texting on your phone and aside from that you also need to learn how to be a little bit more giving and generous watch out what you eat as well uh, you're gonna be going through a diet this month because you feel like the reason why your partner isn't really you know excited about you anymore is because of your body but it's not you know it's not and for you to go and find yourself again or find some answers about your relationship or about your problems it's time for you to go and take a trip near the water it will help you relieve your stress if you're just going to swim it off and for those who's a big smoker it's time for you to think about an alternative because it seems like this is what's been affecting your stress and your mental state as well you know sometimes you feel so blank sometimes you're you're too forgetful sometimes you don't even know what to say even though there are there are a lot of things that you wanted to say and try to stick around with fruits for a little while okay and you also need to strengthen your immune system because like what i said that you'll be prone to airborne diseases and airborne uh viruses now let's take a look at your oracle cards now, a new beginning, you're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world, and if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. Creativity in abundance. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Six of thought, peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country wow well which is i told you you need to go and travel and distrust yourself a happy change your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible you may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity be confident and trust the guidance you receive Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Leo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.